You know how I feel about this one right here. Top 10 Summer Designer Fragrances 2022. So it's summer, summer is here, kind of. I'm actually shooting this at the end of April, uh, just about ready to head into May. By the time you see this, uh, it's gonna be summertime, at least I hope so. I like to shoot these in advance just to finalize the video because especially when it comes with summer fragrances, I could move these around and add and subtract things all the time. Uh, the bulk of my collection really is, is made up of summer fragrances, even though I've been transitioning over to really having an interest in deeper, darker stuff. Uh, where I started was Freshies, Aquatics, just general warm weather scents, and so I've got a ton of them. And summer is also my favorite time of the year, so I like to pair you know, some of my favorite fragrances with my favorite time of the year. 10 fragrances, all designers, all will be linked down below to discounters also, so you can pick them up at a price below retail. We've got a lot to cover, and we're gonna start this one off with an honorable mention, okay? Don't normally do this, but I have to. Aqua Atlantique, this has been discontinued. If you missed that news already, I've done a full video on it, talked about it a few times. Now, honorable mention because by the time this goes up, there is still a chance that you may be able to pick up some bottles online. I didn't want to feature it in the main list though, just in case that isn't the case, but hopefully by then you could still scoop one up, whether it be just a 50 mil, maybe there's still 100s floating around. Uh, if it happens like it did with uh, Aqua Amara, uh, 50 mils will probably be in a greater abundance. You know, for the longest time, Amara, you could still pick up in a 50 mil bottle, uh, even though it was discontinued and had been for a while. Same thing will probably happen here. People usually just buy the 100 mils of these normally. Aquamarine has also been discontinued. Uh, that could have been in the list as well. And so if that's a favorite of yours for the summertime, you may want to look into picking up a backup of that as well. I will link them both down below if they're still out there. I'm not gonna go any further because I've said it a million times about Atlantique, but it, it's one of my absolute favorites. And just because it's discontinued, uh, doesn't mean I'm not gonna be wearing it this summer. In fact, I'm gonna be wearing it a lot this summer. I don't care. I've got enough backup bottles and I love it. On to the actual list. At number 10, we have Artisan Pure by John Varvados. So we've got Clementine, Pettigrain, Orange, Lemon, Citrusy, Neroli Leaves. It's literally crushed up neroli leaves and grass and, and all of these other kind of floral components in here with a bunch of orange squeezed on top of all of it. It's very photorealistic, smells fantastic. It puts me in the summer mood like none other. There's a reason why this one got hyped up back when it did, you know, just for the price, all things considered, it's a really, really nice summer fragrance. It's great to pair with a white t-shirt on a crisp summer day gorgeous stuff and the quality to price ratio is incredible. At number nine, we have Dior Higher. Now there's higher and there's higher energy. We're just going with the original here. Now my bottle will look a little bit different. They come in a different looking bottle now. Uh, now I believe they're gonna look a little bit like this. This is higher energy, but this is the new style bottle that it will come in. Um, so just be aware of that. I'm not sure, there's probably not gonna be too much of a difference in scent, so just a bottle change. Um, these are a little bit weird to push down because your atomizer is integrated up top, so you kinda had to, oop, it squirted. You kinda had to push in a little bit right there. Uh, but it smells, smells gorgeous. Fantastic scent that came out in the mid to late 90s, I believe it was, so a while ago. Uh, we've got pear, basil, cypress, lemon, and peach as some of the main notes. Very citrus heavy, very fruits heavy, musky. Uh, another one that just puts me in the summer mood. Makes me feel great. Makes me feel rejuvenated, refreshed, uplifted, and, and energetic and just ready to get stuff done. Gorgeous stuff. Moving on to number eight, we've got one that's a little bit uh, underappreciated. Now I do understand why this one doesn't get as much love as some other ones, but for me, it's one that I love to wear. It's Lonely Parfum. So in this one, you've got Amberwood, Geranium, Ozonic Notes. It's got a little bit of a blue fragrance thing going on to some extent, uh, you know, like a YSLY, EDP type of thing. But what this one has that really makes me love it so much is it still has that original loam DNA. And those of you who know me, you know I love the original loam. And so they take that base and they modernize it. They give it a little bit of a youthful and kind of uh, refreshed, up-to-date, more trendy smell. It's not gonna take the place of loam for me. You know, that's a different scent for a different situation altogether. But if I want a more playful, kind of modernized version of loam, one that would be nice for summertime, I go for Le Parfum. 
I think it smells great. To some, maybe a little bit too sweet for summer. That's why this is my list, the stuff that I'm gonna be wearing the most. But if you're up for uh, just not your typical summer fragrance, this would be one you could go for because uh, you, you see it all the time. This could be chock full of nothing but straight up citrus fragrances that you've heard a million times. That might be kind of boring. You can also choose to branch out and throw in some stuff that's gonna be a little bit different, a little bit out of the norm, and that's exactly what this one does. And number seven, we're gonna go with a cheapie here. Um, this one is Pepe Jeans Cocktail. Super fun looking bottle on this one. Scent is impressive all the way through. Opening to dry down. It's got yuzu, grapefruit, ginger, and woods. When I got this one in, I was kind of, you know, not expecting much really, but that smells fantastic. It's sour, it's tart, it's crisp, it's juicy. Summertime bobbled up into one here. Um, really is like a cocktail, you know, gives you kind of this fun, uplifting, kind of bubbly feeling. It's gonna smell great in the summertime. You get some heat on this one, it's gonna open up. The citrus is gonna come to life and you're gonna smell great. You're gonna smell fun. At the end of the day, summer is all about having fun and if you pair that with a, a fun smelling fragrance, you're gonna be the life of the party. Like I said earlier, this one is affordable. Let's go to another cheapie here at number six. We have Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct Eau de Toilette. So we've got melon, pepper, and woody notes in here, some of the main notes. I think a sandalwood, all that stuff. Really, it's all about the melon up top, giving it this youthful, but kind of tropical and unique smell. It's melon heavy all the way through. Uh, right up next to that is uh, some black pepper. It gives it a little bit of a spicy kick, a nice balance. Um, I love it, I always have. Ever since I first got this one in, I'm like, this is tropical, this is Mediterranean, this is a vacation scent. If you're going on a trip and you're wanting to make the memories of your lifetime, pair it with a fun fragrance like this that you can kind of then use only for vacations. Keep it all bottled up, then every time you wear this one and smell it, you're reminded of those trips and all the fun you had in the past. Or you can just wear it every day during the summertime, that works too. It's cheapy, typically 30 bucks for 100 mil, you can see my bottle is looking pathetic. I've got a full 100 mil ready to go for me this summer. I'm probably gonna need it. But I mean, man, all things considering the price, um, even the quality is good. It's unique. Performance is gonna leave a little bit to be desired, but you can overspray, you can reapply. It gets the job done and it works fantastic. Out of all the stuff I have in my collection, the fact that this is making it in my top 10 summer fragrances video, I think that speaks for itself. At number five, we've got Light Blue Italian Love by Dolce & Gabbana, the newest, latest, and greatest. This is a limited edition. So, uh, you know, depending on when you're watching this years down in the future, I would substitute forever instead of this one for you, just being uh, thinking ahead here. Uh, but if you're watching this present time, you can pick this one up um, and get it. And if you like Light Blue Forever, uh, you would like this, and I would recommend to maybe look into it because, again, it's a limited edition. You're basically guaranteed to like it, and so you won't be kicking yourself later on down the line when it gets chopped, no longer able to purchase, and then you're regretting not picking it up. Now, the main difference between this and Forever is that this one here, Light Blue Italian Love, gives you more bergamot. So uh, it's grapefruit heavy, but with a bergamot support. That's something that you don't get in light blue forever, but you get it here. So for a lot of you, that, that will be appealing. That'll be attractive because, you know, I, I've heard it a lot where the grapefruit is just way too much for some people in light blue forever. And not for nothing, it, it's very, very strong. It's a strong grapefruit. It's not gonna be for everybody. Some people say it smells like BO. So you really have to step back and analyze your collection. I've said this so many times, if you are coming from blue fragrances, Dylan Blue, Sauvage, and you're trying to jump over to something like this or Forever because it looks blue and oh, they must be similar, you're sadly mistaken. We're talking potentially a challenging citrus because it's, it's photorealistic, it's unique. So you have to do your due diligence here and make sure you're up for the task of having something that's actually different than what's generally being put out. If you're ready for that, then you'll be ready for this. So of course it has grapefruit, bergamot, ozonic notes, violet leaf, still very similar note breakdown and scent wise to the forever version. But again, that bergamot support really helps to kind of smooth it out and make it a bit more appealing overall. Uh, between testing the two, I've really been gravitating towards Italian love. I think this is a great mod. I think they've done a lot here with this one and I can't wait to wear it. And number four, we've got one of my favorites, YSL Y EDP, 
So, you know, I'm probably even going to be wearing the Parfum in the summertime. I really will. Um, I've been wearing it here throughout spring. It works great in spring weather, of course. Summer gets much hotter, sun is out, humid and that sort of thing. But I'm still probably going to wear it. But the EDP, I'm definitely going to be wearing. You know, it it's just another fun, playful one. You know, I'm looking for fragrances that put me in a good mood, that make me feel motivated, that make me feel just happy. And that's why I sell YEDP. We've got apple, sage, amberwood. My girlfriend loves this stuff on me. It's pretty well known as being a, a big compliment getter, very mass pleasing. Performance is through the roof. You do not have to worry about performance. In fact, actually some of you might. It may be too strong for some of you. Um, so go easy on the trigger, especially in summertime in the heat. Uh, and again, this will be too sweet for some people in the summertime. I shouldn't have to say that because you should know kind of the general idea of this scent by now. But again, for me, I don't care. I'm going for something a bit different. Sometimes I like a bit of sweetness in the heat. As long as you don't go too overboard and you don't go too sweet, like Spice Bomb Extreme or something, it won't get too crazy cloying. One or two sprays to wear by myself outside in the summer while I'm working on something, that gets it done for me. Number three, gotta kick it off with this new one. Top three is coming in strong with Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum. Absolute beauty. Talked about it across a, a span of videos here. I've, I've been obsessed, simply put. I cannot stop wearing this one. I've got mineral notes, orange, sea notes, clary sage. It has bits and pieces of a few in the line. Profondo, the mineral notes. Profumo, kind of some of the depth and richness. Um, the original, of course, the original Aqua de Joe, just the aquatic smell. And Ascenza, the aromatics. It kind of combines all of those into one. It adds some things in, it takes some things out, but all together it just kind of gives you a general idea of what this one's going to be all about. It's a more mature and aromatic take on the original Aqua de Joe DNA. If you grew up wearing the original Aqua de Joe when you were in high school and college, you're going to be just in time to be wearing this one now as you're older and more mature. You probably have more of a developed taste and you want something that's going to be um, something that will have you taken seriously by people around you you know, kind of have an upscale smell to it. That's Aqua de Joe EDP, like I said. I just, there's something about it that works so well for me. I can't stop wearing it. I've been wearing it more than I probably should have. Summer's not even here yet, but best believe, I can't wait to get this one in the heat. Um, you know, Profondo, still gonna be wearing heavily, but I really wanna get the aromatics, the clary sage, the lavender combo out there in the heat because I love that combo in the heat and it's gonna work great. And number two, this one got kicked down a notch. Uh, usually it kind of makes number one, but uh, I'm making room. It's my OG beautiful Dior Homme Cologne. Not my OG bottle, but you know, the scent itself is uh, one that goes way back for me. Bergamot, grapefruit, blossom, and musk are the three notes that they give you. So I got this um, back when Notino was a thing, just to put this into perspective. Um, you guys may remember Notino here in the United States. It's no longer overseas, it is. So you're probably wondering, oh, Notino is still a thing. Not here in the US, it's not. You can't access them anymore. Um, big long story behind why that is. You can look up on YouTube and find the explanation why. But long story short, when Notino was in the process of getting shut down here in the US, they were having a massive sale. And I ended up getting my first bottle of Dior Homme Cologne, the 4.2 ounce from them for I wanna say $60 or something. I would have to look back at the email, but I wanna say $60 or something like that. It was a price so good that I could not pass up. I got it, I fell in love. Even now to this day, four years later, almost five years later, something like that, I still love this scent. Performance, not that good. Uh, <laughs> uniqueness, depending on who you ask, is decent. I haven't smelled another citrus fragrance like it, and I have a lot of citrus fragrances, so that's saying something. But this isn't going to get everyone super pumped up. You know, for me, I'm a citrus lover. It smells like a sweetened, ice cold glass of lemonade in the summertime, in the morning, sitting out on the porch, waking up, hearing the birds, seeing the green and the, the life, wildlife all over the place, enjoying nature. That's what this one smells like to me. Another great crisp white t shirt scent. Um, smells awesome. You know, it. I just love it, and uh, it got kicked down one spot because I uh, I really, really love this this number one spot. It is Rasasi Hawass. Watery notes, ambergris, plum, and bergamot. This is it right here for me. This is the pinnacle of a summer fragrance for me. 
Uh, going into this list, this was the first one that I put in here when I started planning it and it immediately shot to number one and it hasn't moved. Everything else I've shuffled around, moved things in and out, but not this one. This is an improved version of Invictus Aqua 2016. After all, this technically did come first by one year, whether or not who knows how that worked out could have been a mod that got passed down from the perfumer i don't know um, but the point is on paper 2015 invictus aqua of course 2016. Uh, this one it is better it's got that performance of invictus aqua it's not as synthetic as invictus aqua it it just it kills it in every category i love the plum apple fruitiness you could pick it up even off the atomizer and it's been a while since this one has been sprayed i mean it smells gorgeous absolutely divine not for everybody. Again, my uh, older gentleman out there, probably not for you. Let's just be real. It might be, but I know a lot of guys typically see me talk about this one and get upset because it's too youthful smelling. What do you expect? That being said, doesn't matter how old you are, what age you are, what you look like. It doesn't matter. You can wear this one if you like it, and I know a lot of people do. Also, Invictus Aqua 2018 has also been discontinued. There's no more Invictus Aqua in production, but there is this, and it also happens that this happens to be the, the best version out of all of them, in my opinion, and you can get this a lot of times for like $39, $40, 100 mil online for a 12 plus hour performing summer fragrance that gets this many compliments. 40 bucks is an absolute steal. I can't recommend it enough. I mean, if you end up not liking it, it's 40 bucks. It would be a great gift for your son, your cousin, your nephew, anyone else. I encourage as many of you as possible to just at least try it because you may be impressed. All right, that's it for me. That is my top 10 summer designer fragrances. So I'm probably gonna do a niche one as well, as per usual, later on down the line. Uh, but this is it. I'm gonna be wearing all of these heavily and of course some other things as well that didn't make it in here. Like I said, Atlantique, honorable mention, this normally would have been within the top three for sure. Um, even with this lineup here, I would have kicked something out to put it in uh, the top three easily. But due to the fact that it's officially no longer in production, I'm not gonna place it in any main lists going forward. Unless it's just you know an honorable mention that I'll toss in. I will link it down below to buy a backup if you're interested, but it you know it's only gonna last so long. I would not drag your feet on this if you are interested. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Enjoy the summertime, enjoy the weather, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.